Good morning, YouTube. Wake Run Collapse back once again for another booster box opening as part of my farewell party. I've only got a few booster boxes remaining, and I'm uh, really hoping to go out with a bang. It is chilly as heck right now in uh, in Boston. It is in the 40s this morning, and this is glorious news for me because I hate the summertime with a burning passion. Usually right now it's around 65, 67 degrees in my neck of the woods. When I woke up it was 45. Now we're hovering around 48, 49, so... Uh, if I have to stop take off my sweatshirt in the middle of the uh, opening because it gets too warm, don't be surprised. I'm kind of one of those people. Anyways, quite enough talk. Let's get right into our second and final box of Japanese Dragon Blade, first edition. If you saw my previous Dragon Blade booster box opening, you have seen a very, very sexy full art pull. The full art Rayquaza. And now I'm hoping to do even better this time around. Uh, as it turns out, I was incorrect in the uh, previous video. I forget if it was uh, Hail Blizzard or Psycho Drive, in which I talked about uh, whether Superior and Crocodile were in Dark Rush, because they're not. I believe they're in this one, now that I've looked up the set list. So certainly to see a shiny out of the last five boxes would be pretty much all I could hope for. Got one on the first video, got one a few days later, and that's kind of been it. Which is okay with me, I mean, I'm fine with that. But I would just, I would love to get a third and final one before this is all said and done. Alright guys, here we go. First attempt at that. Alright, Gabite, Magmar, Phoebus, Bulldor, and a Blend Energy. As per the use, it's going to be a little faster this time around. If you want the uh, slower video, you can go back to earlier in the month. Manectric, Gothita, Maractus, Spiel, and Nice, another hollow Golurk. Really like the design on Golurk, lends itself well to cards, so nice to get that one. Any EXs, hollows, or full arts that I pull will be duplicates and will be up of and available for sale or trade in case anyone needs them. But if I pull a shiny, which is Unlikely, but possible. I'm keeping it. Uh, Manectric, Vigoroth, Electrike, Sock, and a Jumpluff. Uh, Walrein. I actually really like this card. I don't know if I talked about it before, but it's really cool. Uh, Hopip, Slackoth, Rog and Rolla, and nice Rayquaza EX. Four packs in and already pulling an EX and probably the coolest one out of the uh, out of the set. So that's awesome. Very nice. Looking sweet as per the usual. What else was it from the set? ho -Oh and uh, Registeel, yes. Uh, Walrein, Stunky, Gibble, Emolga, and a Braviary. Didn't have the best luck out of Hail Blizzard and Psycho Drive, so this would be a nice way to bounce back with a full art, or perhaps better. Really hope I didn't save all the bad boxes for the end. Oh, look who it is, making another appearance, Promo Pass. Uh, Throw, Cubone, Celio, and a Gothitel. Feels so weird wearing a sweatshirt right now, I haven't had one on in months. Except occasionally I'll crank the AC down to like 60 something, like 66, and I'll wear it to bed. Sorry, Braviary, Rufflet, Probo Pass, not Probo Pass, Nose Pass, uh, Ninkata, and a Gigalith Hollow, nice. Let's see another one of those. Especially for any of you first edition nuts out there. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, nin Ninjask, yes. Ninjask. I was looking at the Shedinja in the background. Uh, Phoebus, Swablu, uh, Altaria, <laughs> Hollow, um, and the Bulldor is a card that I uh, unceremoniously chucked to the, uh, to the desk floor there. Uh, but Altaria, Hollow, awesome. Really like this card. Big fan of Altaria anyways. And of course, uh, utilization of the Dragon type is always a plus in my opinion.
And this was the uh, the first full set that uh, that had dragon types in it. Immediately followed uh, dragon selection. Tool scrapper, uh, golette, skip loom, sock, and another ninjask. Uh, kicking off with the Shedinja this time around. Uh, Electric, I think I know what's in the back. Sphiel, Slack Off, and yep, ho -Oh ex We've got plenty of these right now, so it's going to be up for uh, for trade if anyone needs it. You can always check out my wants list, it should be in the description below. Or you can always send me a PM if you uh, need this card and are looking to, pot, uh, to uh, pay for it, you know, buy it somehow. So Really only accept PayPal as well, guys. Uh, just been hosed way too many times by people saying, oh, I'll send money in the mail, I'll send money in the mail, and then it never arrives, so. Anywho, Jump Luff, Maractus, Magmar, Rog and Rolla, and a Gabite. Hoping that's not it for uh, sweet pulls out of this box. Because uh, my last two boxes were two EXs and no full arts. Marowak, uh, Vigoroth, Gothita, yeah, Gothita, Hopip, and nice, another Garchomp. Looking awesome, no surprise. I know this is going to sound sacrilegious, but I really wasn't sure how I felt about the Garchomp artwork when I first saw it. Just seemed, at first, to be too much like a shaky cam uh, scene from an action movie. Uh, but then I uh, grew to appreciate it over time, so... Uh, Gotharita, Stunky, Gibble, Rufflet, and a Hollow Slacking. Awesome. Not exactly the most attractive Pokemon of the bunch, but uh, definitely nice to get it. It would be cool if they had like a held item or something in uh, in the games. Like the, uh, like the video games that allowed it to skip its uh, really crappy ability. Uh, same for Regigigas, I like to see him playable in one way or another, even if it, like, I don't know, if there are an item that cancels out the slow start but poisons him or something. I don't know, that would be cool. Giant Cape, Cubone, Golette, Ninkata, and Shedinja. Still a few more packs to go. I think I've got two hollows or better left to, uh, left to be seen. But again, I haven't been counting, so let's see if I'm right. Tool Scrapper, Celio, Throw, Skip Loom, Oh, we have a stuck card, and you know what? This time you are going to wait. I'm going to be like that. I am going to be like that. We're going to... You know what? We're not even going to... Are we going to sleeve it? Yeah, I guess we'll sleeve it. People lost their crap when I didn't sleeve... Um, that, uh... Which one was it? The gold uh, Reshiram in my EX Battle Boost uh, series. I was doing a Japanese-style opening where you don't sleeve the cards. And I, uh, <laughs> I was being cruel. Well, I'm hoping that's a full art. I'm going to look like a doofus if I'm wrong. Uh, Manectric, Swablu, Emolga, Nosepass, and Skuntank. So this time we are going to wait until the end. Uh, it would be insane to pull another Equaza. Uh, but I really love the Registeel as well. And, of course, the ho -Oh is also brilliant. So I'm going to be happy no matter what I pull. Another Skuntank. Uh, Phoebus, Vigoroth. Boldor and Buffalon Hollow, awesome. Hello again. Uh, maybe there is another Hollow in here. I don't think I've pulled a Milotic in this opening, so perhaps there is going to be one. Uh, Jumpluff, Sphiel, Maractus, Sock, and there's the Milotic, awesome. Such a beautiful card, one of uh, my absolute favorite hollows from Black and White 5 in general. Just looks so great. So I got two packs to go and a full art to reveal, presumably being a full art. It, uh, it seemed like it was a full art, not that I touched the, uh, the front of the card at all, but it seemed like a full art in uh, the way that it was stuck to the card in front of it. So, uh, Magmortar, banned in English of course. Um, oh, I've still got a pack there. <laughs> I was like, what the hell am I doing? Uh, Hopip, Magmar, Gothita, and a Blend Energy.
Last pack before the big reveal. Let's see what we got. Marowak, Rog and Rolla, Electrike, Slackoth, Gotharita, and no waste in time. Whoa! Holy shit! What a great way to be wrong! That is unbelievable! Shiny Superior, such a beautiful card. Let's get that focus in on that wonderful texture. That is awesome. I really love the leaf symbol too. And as you can see, I mean, this... Wow! I was just, I was totally expecting a full art, and I think I actually have duplicate full arts of the other two. I wasn't expecting another Rayquaza. So I was like, oh, I'll get a full art, it'll be a duplicate, I'll be happy, but... And now I'm just friggin' thrilled, guys. Shiny Superior, what a, just a knockout of a card. Uh, for my OCD nature as well, this is a very important card to have pulled. Uh, because I had, uh, there are 53 cards in Dragon Blade, including the full arts. So having this 54th card means that I have all full 9 card pages, both for Dragon Blade and Dragon Blast. Oh, I could kiss this card right now. Shiny Superior. You can see like the uh, the ripple effect of the uh, of the shininess right there, and of course, uh, of course, the very very fine texture on the Pokemon itself. That great leaf symbol looks so awesome, and you can see right down at the bottom. We can focus in 54 out of 50 ultra rare. Hell yeah, Shiny Superior. I hope that was worth the wait, guys, because it really was for me. It was just a delightful surprise. So, let me see what I did with that sleeve. Oh, it's over here. Sleeve this card back up. Nice and careful. First edition, too. Shiny Superior. What a hell of a card. Alright, um, so that absolutely lifted my spirits after, um, after the lackluster openings and pulls out of uh, Hail Blizzard and Psycho Drive in general. So let's sort these out real quick. We'll do a nice, speedy, expedited recap of what I've pulled. This amazing Dragon Blade box, what a kind set it was to me, in general. Uh, Milotic, Bufalant, Slacking, Garchomp, Altaria, Gigalith, Golurk for my Hollows. EX cards were Ho-Oh and Rayquaza. And what do you know, that beautiful shiny Superior. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I may actually have to find out if that Crocodile is cheap on eBay. It would be, um, not my first, but one of my first complete sets, and uh, probably one of my more early complete sets that has shinies in them, because uh, EX Battle Boost will probably be the first, and then I don't think I have another one since. So, uh, Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. What a great pull, huh? Uh, hope you stop back in for a Dragon Blast tomorrow. I'm hoping to replicate this feature or at least get some more awesome pulls out of that box.